Hello everyone and welcome back to the HTML and CSS Code Academy tutorials. My name is Caleb and today we are going to learn about a div and span tags. If you're just now joining us, we just got done doing our final tables and let's go ahead and get started and head over to CodeAcademy.com. Go to HTML Basics 3 and we're going to do the third section of div and span. Oh wait, I lied. I click okay. I I click number two. <laughs> I'm an idiot. There we go. Now we're on HTML three. There we go. Div and span, and divide and conquer. Let's reset our code. And there we go. Divide and conquer. One of the most versatile structure tags available to you is the div tag, short for division. Div tags allow you to divide your page into containers. That is different pieces that will come in handy when you begin learning CSS in the next unit. You'll be able to style different parts of your website individually. Check out the results tab. You should see three blocks, one red, one blue, and one green. Each one is its own div container. Now you try. On line 10, create your own div and give it the background color yellow. Use the width and height syntax we've used for the other divs as a guide. So. I know we have used the inline style for width and height before. I showed you guys that whenever I did the image, um, when I corrected my image on our social networking profile, I believe. But anyways, so those are going to be new if you guys don't recall those. But all we have to do is create a new div. So create a new div tag, just type in div. And then we're adding an inline style. And what we're going to do, we're going to start setting some attributes. So we're going to say the width of our div that we want it to be. We want it to be 50 pixels so it matches up with the other blocks, the red, green, and blue. Then what we want is to add a height. And we want our height as well to be as 50 pixels. So once we have that, we're going to say background color, which I believe that one's new as well, if you guys haven't done that. And we're going to do yellow. And then that's all we have to do for that one. And if I can ever type style right, it should pop up on your screen and be yellow. Now, divs, uh, and add a little brace, and then we just it automatically closes our div tag for us. So we should have an opening div tag with an inline style of our width set to 50 pixels, our height set to 50 pixels, and a background color set to yellow. And then after we do that, just close our div tag, and we should have red, blue, green, and yellow blocks now on our screen. So if it looks like that, you should be good. Let's save and submit our code and way to go. Alright, link it. Nice work. As you probably guess, the smart use of divs will eventually allow you to create visual HTML objects like sidebars, menus, and more. Just like with images, you can make divs clickable by wrapping them in an anchor tag. So instructions, go ahead and make your yellow div link to your favorite site. Check the hint if you need a refresher. So, to do this, all we have to do, I'm going to put some space in between our div and our other body tags. So right here, this is the one we're working for, or working with, because this is going to be our div tag. And what we're going to do now is just go ahead and add an anchor. So let's indent, add an anchor. Remember, we're going to add our href attribute. And once again, I'm just going to send this right on over to um, youtube.com. Now, once we do that, we just have to close our anchor tag, like so, and take our ending tag. I'm just going to cut it like I normally do. And now I'm going to indent our div tag, like so. And then after that, I'm just going to come right here, and then I'm going to paste in our anchor. So now whenever we hover over it, you see this one doesn't have a pointer. But when we come over here, we now have a hand click. So where we click on it, bam, there goes YouTube. And that should be good. That's all we have to do. Just make sure that you wrap your div tag and nest it within a anchor. And you should be good. You can go to whatever website you want to. But we use YouTube. So click Save and Submit Code. Way to go. Awesome. Start next lesson. And let's reset. So it's fantastic. While div allows you to divide your web page up into pieces, you can style individually using the span tag. The span tag allows you to control styling for smaller parts of your page, such as text. For example, if you always want the first word of your paragraphs to be read, you can wrap each first word in a span tags and make them red using the CSS. <clears throat> For now, we'll continue using the style attribute to change colors. Wrap the word red in the editor 
in span tags and give the span tag a style of color set to red. Notice how only the word between the span tags of the color changes. So we come down here, we see a paragraph. Now what we have to do is just make sure we have this right here, which is red. I'm just going to go over it and type in the span. And then we're going to do an inline style. And we're just going to set the color to red. And then close that out. And then I'm going to type in red. And there we go. So pretty much all we did here was add a new span tag. We put in an inline style attribute. We set the color to red. We close our opening span tag right here. Now between the opening and closing span tag and before the exclamation mark, we have red in between. And then after our closing span tag, we have our exclamation mark. And if we look over here, this text is black except for the word red, which is in the color of red. So let's save and submit our code. And way to go. And once again, let's just reset. Span is the man. Great. You're really getting the hang of this. These tags can be a little tricky though. So let's go through one more example. Color is just one attribute you can selectively change with the span tags. You can also change font size, font family, and any other style attribute you can think of. So the instructions are, use the span tags to style the word impact with the font family of impact. Leave the rest of the text as is. Don't include the exclamation point in the span tag. So once again, I'm just going to cut this out using control X or command X, whatever you want to do. And then add a new span tag. Remember, we're adding a new inline style. But this time, we're going to say font-family. And it wants this to be impact. And then after that, I'm going to close, paste in impact, and now we should see my favorite font is impact. And everything looks good. Let's save and submit. Way to go. And once again, let's just reset our code. So recap, great work. In addition to what you've already learned, you know how to divide up your web page for easy styling with div tags, select pieces of text, and change their properties using the span tags. In the next course, We'll learn how this, we can take much of the styling we've been doing, such as controlling font family, font color, and text alignment, and put it in its own separate file. By doing that, we can use tags like div and span to import style to our pages without writing our inline style, which is what we've been doing whenever we add the style attribute to our tags every single time. And as you can see, guys, inline style is going to be really repetitive. You know, it's it's, it's Especially whenever you're not using C, if, well, you're still using CSS, but you're not linking in a style sheet like so over here. But um, whenever you have to go through every single element or tag in your HTML and add your inline style, that is very, very, um, I guess you can say not only repetitive, but you can also say it's kind of pointless because it's it's a lot of work as opposed to when you can just link in a style sheet which we'll get down here in the instructions and then you can start setting like for example this one all of our paragraphs are going to have the font family to Garmin and the font size to 16 pixels all of our heading 3 tags are going to have our font family cursive so just setting it once here will set it all for every element or heading 3 tag in this example to whatever you want so I We'll get into more de detail about that whenever we start covering CSS, but let's go ahead and go on to the instructions so I don't bore you guys. So we've given you a taste of how Span can be powered by CSS in the editor. Check it out. On the results tab, cool, huh? Hit save and submit code to finish the course and move on to the wonderful world of CSS. So right now we can really just overlook all this stuff because we're about to learn how to do all this stuff, which is really interesting, really cool, and it's really, really powerful. So stay tuned, guys. Go ahead and hit save and submit your code. You guys should be getting another badge. Congratulations, you finished this course. If you liked the video, make sure to thumbs it up. Don't be afraid to drop me a comment, slide me a DM, do whatever you want if you get stuck. Also, guys, don't forget to subscribe for the new and future videos when we'll be finishing up some CSS and moving on to more and greater things like JavaScript and jQuery and all these other fun things that Code Academy has to offer. All right, guys, my name is Caleb. You guys have a wonderful day. See you next time.